All right, hi guys. Uh, it's Dane at Jonah Custom Guitars. I uh, built my first uh, cigar box guitar. Um, a cigar box had Havana Honeys on it. And um, it's got a piece of ebony for the bridge. I had it built for a while, a couple days, a few days, order to pick up for it. Um, it's just, just acoustically right there, and it's fine, uh, but it sounds pretty cool with the pickup in it. So after a few days, when I got the pickup, I uh, went ahead and did, did that. And I decided after a few more days, I'm going to put uh, volume, volume and tone controls in the thing. So it's just a single coil, so I had a couple volume tone control pots, a couple knobs that happen to fit the quarter inch solid shaft just fine and they're, they're going to look good on this this little box pretty good nice little uh, brass and pearl inlays on the tops of those things um, so let's just do a quick once over on the deal had some tuners left over from uh, a guitar I'd swap tuners out on because one of one or two of them actually uh, broke uh, they stripped out at the the net and the bushing going to the tuner stripped out Stock guitar. I forget what brand it was now with it The headstock was too thick actually and it stripped out the first few turns of those those things so This uh, this little peg head being a little thinner. I was able to grind some of those bushings down and use them um, so This is a piece of Bolivian rosewood that uh, wasn't uh, wide enough to get any more fretboards out of it. That's what I typically use it for. And uh, it was about an inch thick, as you can see by the offset here from the face to the back of the peg head. And, and uh, I went ahead and did a taper on the neck like a, a regular guitar would have a taper. You can kind of see where it indents from the peg head. Um, so, tapers up to a wider wider board up at the, the body and I uh, still have a lot of space between the strings it seems like uh, I usually use about a 1 by 2 for a 3 string cigar box maybe even for the 4 strings but that inch and a half at the nut was just way too much space between strings for me so I narrowed it down a bit um, so like I said I decided to put Decided to put uh, pots in these things, so they're 250s. I don't know if I mentioned that yet, being a single coil. And uh, I'll probably put a, well, I am going to put a tone pot in, so I'll, I'll put a capacitor in there as well. Um, the box is still operable, so I have access to the inside of it. So I put the pickup in and uh, just put the jack. So the jack is on the, the bottom of the guitar when it's in the playing position. And uh, so, you notice that these are plugged, it's because I drilled them and then I realized that the top thickness was too thick for to get any threads to the face of the, the guitar. So, this is a trick I came up with a while back and um, basically born of necessity, uh, which was born of stupidity. Uh, so if you take and plug, you know, you can't take a larger, like I'm going to recess these holes. I, I guess I should try to finish a, a sentence or complete a thought for you. So um, going to use a Forzner bit. Well, Forzner bits don't, uh, you know, unless that little point meets something, right? That point leads you in and keeps the bit, bit concentric to the hole you're drilling. But if you start out in an existing hole, it's going to wobble all over the place and make a mess. Uh, I've done that as well. Anyway, so the way to get around that is if you plug the hole, and I didn't glue these plugs in. These are just flat plugs. Um, you guys that have dealt with any kind of woodworking, furniture making, you know what a flat plug looks like. It's just flat on the top and bottom, got a little bit of a taper to it. So I didn't even glue these in, I just tapped them in with a hammer, uh, pretty much flush with the inside of the box. And so I'll just find center on these, 
right? And then I'll probably set it up in the uh, in the drill press rather than handheld, and uh, just go in and that'll that'll countersink that hole. And then once I've got the countersink to where I want it, so I have some threads poking out, I'll just flip the guitar over and pop those plugs back out, and then I'll be set. I can just push the pot on in and uh, get down in there. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to bother filming it, but just that was kind of just a quick tip for those of you who have maybe found yourself in a situation where, like I didn't, like I did here, I didn't realize I was not going to have enough shaft. Being that I'm just trying to get this done and that I, I don't want to order special long shaft uh, pots. Because I got plenty of long shaft pots around, but they're all 500K because that's a typical Les Paul humbucker kind of, kind of pot. So anyway, um, that's it. You just plug the hole temporarily. Uh, do your, you know, you drill your counter bore. And then once you're all doing done with that, you can just pop the plug back out, put the pot in, you're all, all ready to roll. So that's it. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. You know, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Uh, if you found this useful, especially. Anyway, even if, well, no matter what else, leave a comment if you got something to say. Take care. Thanks for watching.